In this video, I'm going to explain and share a very, very powerful perspective that you can apply in your life that's going to put you, number one, in a state of control, but number two, it's also going to put you in a state of being in control of your reality. Now, what that is, is that in everything in life, we care, but not that much. What does that mean? What that means is that I'm going to use a terminology which is detached involvement. Everything that takes place in life, we want to apply a philosophy or we want to apply a perspective of detached involvement. What does that mean? Which means something happens, number one. Number two, we accept the thing that has happened, number two. Number three, we accept that we have created that thing because life is about cause and effect. Whatever, whatever has happened in our life, we have created either consciously or subconsciously, either in this lifetime or past lifetime. So, when things happen in our life, we have to accept it, number, number two. That's accept, number two. And number three, we have to know that when things happen, sometimes because all of it is karma at the end of the day, we are either have to burn through the karma because the only way out is through, or we just have to burn through the karma because the only way out is through. And number four, after accepting, or number three, after accepting a lost count, is that understanding that in everything in life, we have to care, but not that much, which means that practice detached involvement. When things take place, you want to be able to see the thing that has taken place, accept it for what it is because you know that you have created it one way or another, and then also know that that is there to serve you. Why? Because you have created it. So if we are focusing on something that we like or something that we want in our life and something takes place that looks drastic, that thing is actually there to serve our highest good. So it's important for us to understand that, okay, if I know personally that I've been focusing on what I want and this thing has taken place that is perceived as bad, this thing is actually there to serve my highest good. I'll tell you a story. There's a friend of mine, a very big business guy, and he shared with me a very, very, very important principle to understand, which is in every adversity is an opportunity for innovation and creativity, aka adversity is a blessing in disguise. So when things take place that look and perceive to be bad, we want to acknowledge it for what it is, accept it for what it is, and know that it's there to serve our highest good in direct proportion to the things that we're focusing on, which is aka hopefully the things that we want. You don't want to focus on things that you don't want because the things that we don't want and we focus on that, we will attract events, circumstances, and situations that relate to things that we do not want, aka events that we just do not want, period. So, in everything in life, you have to care, but not that much. Practice detached involvement. It's going to give us a state of self-control, number one. Number two, it's going to put us in a state of control of our reality. Now, yes, I can sit here. I'm, I'm not an expert at all of this. I'm doing these things on a daily basis. I'm trying to do it on a daily basis. I'm applying it on a daily basis, and it's helping me. So I'm sharing this with you so it can help you as well. Practice detached involvement. Understand that everything is there to serve your highest good in life. You have to care, but not that much. When you operate from that state of being, the self-control that you have is immaculate, number one. Number two, the control that you have over your reality is also immaculate. So, remember, pay attention to that. Accept things for what they are. In everything in life, you gotta care, but not that much. And um, practice detached involvement.